Right, act, action, no, don't put it, now, what are you going to do now Ludi? Curtis is going to get underneath with the magic light. I'm going to push the frame open. Yeah, yeah, just, just bring the light underneath. We're going to, I'll do the control for this new holding up Ludi. Put the uh, porter power at the front, you see where the two bolts are, where the, Here? where the lift is, no, 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 further yeah. forward, yeah, yeah, put it there. You see what I mean? Oh, bit, oh you want to stretch the frame out? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to stretch it. Bring that to, bring that like that's right, that's right. Okay. Go. Right, make sure it doesn't hit that cross member. Yep. Ready? Uh, don't yeah. nip, don't nip the cross member and get oh. it down as, get it down as, that's it. Now watch it, Ludi, because that will just drop out. Or? No, no, not now. Hold on, let me check. It's, not, it's not touching? No. Alright, just watch yourself. Uh, the gearbox should be supported. Ready? Isn't that just... You'd think we'd done it before, eh? Ah. Now, that's out of the way. The gearbox is supported on the ratchet strap. Now we're going to release the bar. We're going to release that, Curtis. Yeah. Hold on to it. Did you see the chassis move? Yeah. It's only a bit, eh? But doesn't it make life easier? Yeah. So now we can drop that down and swing it down, and uh, it's good to go. Yeah. So now we can take that uh, mounting off. Oh, yeah. You know, the wire is hooked up to the tiny. The what? The wire. Yeah. No, we'll leave them because we're taking all the harness out. And the same with that. Uh, same with that uh, mounting there. We take. We take that mounting off here. Yep. Uh, 17. Uh, 19 it should be. Ludi's already got that one loose. There you go. Oh man, it's poetry in motion. Ah. I tell you something, it's, it, 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 we should get a bloody Oscar for this. Just uh, while you've got your gloves on, Lodi, I'm kind of curious what uh, transfer case is on this. Oh, the speedo cable's still attached. Oh, uh, no, it's just... Oh, I'll just pull it out there, that's it. The, the uh, ground strap's off. Also there. Yeah, oh. cool. yeah no, that's good. Watch your face. Now, oh, it's maybe a bit better. Oh, my. Testing my finger. Yeah. <sighs> Just need a bit more. I would have left the bottom one in, but there we go. That's that out. And take now, take the engine mounting off the other side, Ludi. Uh, the four bolts off there. Oh, dang. Yeah, I'm gonna get the end for that. Okay. Can you get in? Just the bottom two, you can. They usually just uh, once you once you cracked them off, they come off all right. There you go, see they're not they're not particularly tight. But did he get it or did he just mess it out? <coughs> just messed just messed everything up. Oh yeah, that's like quite the torque monitor. I might just uh... It makes a difference to bar, eh? Yeah. It yeah, sucks all it, it, it the bars <laughs> suck all the torque out the uh, impact. Yeah. yeah. You can't quite get to that top one. I think just with the uh because this bar is a bit long. Huh? I can't. Can you get in? Yeah, but You got it? Yeah. Oh it's cut, is it loose? Yeah. Oh well then we, uh, we're about ready to uh, pull this motor out so we'll adjourn for lunch and then um, do the box. Oh well usually you just throw them on the floor anyway Curtis and kick them around. <laughs> That's a long compared to one that you took out. <laughs> there we go. Right, oh, wash you. hands and then we'll uh, sort of, hey look at that, what good timing eh, look at that. What, 5 to 12. Oh, pretty good. Excellent, so let's go and get some lunch. Well, we've got the Land Rover engine out. 
Um, it was a bit quick because we were, we were wanting to get to lunch. Well, you've seen us take an engine and gearbox out before. And we've uh, power washed it all off so it's uh, nice to strip down. <laughs> At the moment, um, as you can see, Ludie's getting the loose paint off from under the arches and the chassis. And Curtis there is power washing it off. Uh, as you can see, it's not a very pleasant job. It would have been better outside, but you see, because we can't move the car. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's only working. But it's a nice day, so we might as well do it now while it's minus, while we can open the doors and get the steam out. It's still kind of cold, but the steam cleaner's a bit of a pain to work with. Ah, it does a good job, though. The floor could do with it, what? Is it coming off, Ludi? Is it coming off? Stand back a bit. So we got all the steering components uh, power washed off. And they're going to be um, stripped. There's a lot of work to do. But uh, yeah, there's nothing worse than working with dirty stuff. But this is the usual way we do things. <laughs> but it's in the usual circumstances. Yeah, I'm sorry we had to rush. We didn't get pulling the engine out, but we'll show you putting it back in. That's as easy thing. But you can see there, we only sling it off the back hook. Anyway, you might not be able to pick it up for the noise, but we'll catch you in a bit. Oh, that was an interesting day. Oh, God, I'm knackered. We've been, we've done eight hours on this. Me, Curtis, and Ludie put some time into it. Uh, it was a, you know, we've got we've got the engine out, we've got it all washed out, we've got most of this washed out underneath here, I'll show you that in a minute, but man, oh man, it was, what a battle. You know, it, I, the thing about it was, I'll tell you what the, the annoying thing about this was, you know, like, we couldn't film everything because uh, once you're on a roll, you know, like, it's all right, let's get this engine out. And um, and that's what we did, and I forgot to turn the bloody camera on, and of course it, we, it would have gotten in the way anyway. Anyway, what was annoying about this was, when we were finishing off, we, we steam cleaned underneath this inside the shop, which I don't usually do, but I made an exception because it was a nice day today and we could get air going through the shop so you're not breathing in that humid rubbish. But the thing was, this has come from Malawi, and they painted the chassis and the underside with some paint but not wash the chassis off. Oh man, that was a pain in the backside to get off. But it's, it, I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna to have to ask the owner what to do because if the steam cleaner didn't take it off and the needle gun didn't take it off, well, it's not gonna come off. But let's have a look around and see what it, the results were like. Uh, the bulkhead had been power washed that many times, it's unbelievable, but we just could not, it would not, nothing would shift it. You see how dark it is, all the stuff there? It's all stained. That red sort of African type dust, that won't come out. Funnily enough, the, uh, the wheel arches came up quite nice. We used some special cleaner on that, and that came up nice. Uh, I think they'll polish up nice. We've got to give it another once over again because obviously once you're cleaning you'll get things like this, all the rubbish is falling onto here. So we've got to clean those again. Uh, the diff's all nice and clean, all the axles nice and clean, the hockey sticks, they're all good. Um, but let's have a look under here, we've got all this paint off the arches, if you can see there, you see they're all nicely galvanised. The chassis is absolutely immaculate, yet they put paint on it. Let's have a look at the back. See, this is the problem. You know, it's all that loose paint, but it would come off in different places. But, I don't know if you can see, but looking at the chassis, it was, it was just lovely. People would die for that chassis. It's really cleaned up well. And everything underneath it, now I don't, I can't, I haven't got my lights out. Uh, we've got the tank out, we've got the cross member off, washed out. That's all done, waiting for a tank. Yeah, it's going to be good. Ah, man, what a day though. Uh, I just realised we have to put new rotors on because I measured them up and they're actually really thin, but that's nothing. Um, yeah, look at it. It's, it's sort of... This one wasn't too good, but it's like it's under the car. It's not too bad. 
but it's all nice to work on there's no grease or grime on it yeah good good job we don't do this every day <laughs> but no it's uh, it's come up alright but I've got to think tomorrow what we're going to do with this bulkhead to tidy it up because he wants it painting or something doing to it it's had it's, it's had something done to it and the thing is it's it's kind of good and I'm thinking well if if some of the chemicals we've used and paint strippers and things we see that's it we can't use paint strippers on this because we'll take the, the factory paint off and I don't want to do that but we've used some uh, some detergent some cleaners and stuff like that but it just wouldn't come off you know we got all the like I said we got all the grease and poo off here but it just it this was the same as that but it wouldn't come off I don't know why anyway we're signing off for now um, yeah it's going to be a good little project this one uh, notice behind the cross member there's no rust under well a little bit there we'll touch that up with a bit of uh, crown rust proofing but no all the bump stops are on everything's nice it wants one last like I say it wants one last washing off and then it'll be done but that's uh, that's all it's going to get for now. The swivel balls are perfect. Um, tie rods look good. I took a load of rubbish wiring off the front. I don't know what that was doing. Oh, well, we've got the steering box off because that needs to be uh, rebuilt as well. Um, yeah. So that's it. So, please, it's done. I mean, people would give their eye teeth for one of the, a vehicle like this. Honestly, they would. But, this is going to be an issue. What is it with this engine? Why it's got so much back pressure? Can we get away with a set of rings? I don't know. Tomorrow, Ludi said he's going to come down and give us a hand and we'll pull this gearbox off. Our, we were quite concerned when we took the filler plug out of the... Um, the R380 that it had an abnormal amount of uh, filings on the filler plug on the drain plug you know it's got a little magnetic plug and also the transfer case well that was uh, hardly any oil in it at all now that was disappointing so where's it leaking from I do not know actually while it's here, I was just thinking out loud, I might just put the smoke tester on it and pressure test it and see where it was leaking from because it had no oil in it at all. It just looked like somebody drained the oil and just put the bung back in. Anyway, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to do with this engine. Like I say, I'm, I keep repeating, but I don't know what to do with this engine because I've got that engine on the stand that's all good and ready to go. But we've got... No, that's... Kurt, Curtis bought a very expensive Milwaukee uh, rat, uh, impact. Put that down here. We've got things like this here. Look how corroded this is. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this here. Have you ever seen anything like it? Well, we saw it on the other African car. This here. We can replace those and those and those and this. But what my concern is. What is the rest of this engine like? I've got, I've got a sneaking feeling we're going to pull the head off and have a look. I've got a sneaking feeling that this is corroded like that, that with the uh, Garner one. Hmm. That's going to be fun, isn't it? If it is, I'll just, I'll just plonk that other engine in. Save time, save money. And rebuild this one. Never ending job, isn't it? Right. So, that's it. Long day. I'm going to go for a beer or a sherry. No, I think I'll have a refreshing sherry. Right, see you later. Bye.